Hello, this tutorial will show you how to create a program in Scratch that will ask the user for a number and determine if it is odd or even. To start with, we go under events and when the flag is clicked, our program will begin. So that's the first block we're going to use. We need a variable for the number. I will call that number. So you go to make a variable, variable name is number, click on OK. Now you can go ahead and we always like to initialize our variables at the beginning of our program. That means give it an initial value. In this case, it will be zero until we ask the user for the number. So to ask the user for the number, you get the ask block, which is under sensing. It's called ask and wait because we're going to wait until the user enters in information. So we will say, what's your number? And whenever you have the ask and wait block, we drag over this answer block because you're going to be needing that. Go to data and select the set. We're going to set the number to the user's answer. So whatever the user types in will be now set equal to the number. Go to events. We're going to, or sorry, control. What we're going to do is use an if then else block. We're going to determine if the number is odd or even. So to do that, there's a special operator that we use often in computer science, and it's called mod. Modulus division is what mod actually stands for. It actually determines what the remainder is in division. So for example, if you have 7 mod 2, 2 goes into 7 3 times with a remainder of 1. So 7 mod 2 the answer would be 1. If you had 6 mod 2, 2 goes into 6 3 times with no remainder, so the answer would be 0. If you have an odd number then, every time the answer will be not 0. So if you have an even number, the answer is always going to be 0. Any number, even number, divided by 2 will have a remainder of 0. So that's what we're going to check here. We're going to say if the number modulus divided by 2, and we need another operator to check. So if the number modulus divided by 2 is equal to 0, then we know it will be even. So let's put that into our else. So if number modulus divided by 2 equals 0, then we will say under looks, even otherwise, else is known for otherwise, we will output odd. Let's try it out. Run our program. What's your number? We'll start off with six, an even number, and that is even. Excellent. Run it again. Let's try five now, an odd number. Press enter, and it is odd.